Hi, welcome back to Recitation. In lecture, you've been learning about planes and their equations and various different geometric problems relating to them. So I have an example of such a problem here. So I've got a point, which happens to be the origin, which I'm going to call p, 0, 0, 0. And I've got a plane, which has the equation 2x plus y minus 2z is equal to 4. And what I'd like you to do is compute the distance from that point to that plane. So um, just to, to, to remind you, the distance, so there are lots of points on a plane, of course. And, the, and our point in question has a distance to each of them. When we talk about the distance between a point and a plane, what we mean is the shortest distance, so the, the, the perpendicular distance. So if, if, we have, if we have the plane and we have the point, so we, we want to drop a perpendicular from, from the point to the plane, and then we're asking for, for, for that length of that segment. Um, so that's, that's the distance between the point and the plane. So why don't you pause the video, take a little while to, uh, to figure this out, come back and we can figure it out together. So hopefully you had some luck working out this problem. Let's, uh, let's, let's think about it a little bit. We have, we have a point and we have a plane. And we want to figure out what the, what the perpendicular distance from, from the point to the plane is. Um, so one thing that's going to be important then is definitely knowing what, what direction that, that vector is. Right? We have the plane, and, and, we, and we want to find the, a perpendicular segment to it. Um, and so in order to do that, it's, it's useful to know which, what direction is that segment pointing in. So luckily, we're given the plane in this, in this simple equation form. So the normal to the plane. And when you're given an equation of a plane in this form, the, the normal vector is just given by the, the coefficients of x, y, and z. So in our case, the plane is 2x plus y minus 2z equals 4. So the normal vector to this plane is the vector 2, 1, minus 2. So this is the direction. Um, in, in which we need to go from our point p in order to get to the plane by the, by the shortest distance. So now what we need is we need to know the component of, uh, sorry, rather we need to know the, the distance, the, the actual distance we have to travel in that direction. Um, so one way to do this is if we go back to our little picture here, if we choose we, we don't know what this point is. We don't know when we start from p and head in a direction perpendicular to the plane. We don't know what point we're going to land on the plane at. Um, but what we could do is if we knew some other point on the plane somewhere, we could look at the vector connecting p to that other point, And then we could project it onto the normal direction. So we could take the components, so let's call this other point, q. So if we choose any point q in the plane that we're looking at, we can take the vector pq and we can project it onto this normal vector. And if we take the component of, of this vector projected onto that normal vector, if we, if we take the component of this vector in the direction of the normal vector, what that will give us is exactly the, the length of this segment. Yeah, that projection will be exactly the, the perpendicular segment we're looking for, and its length, the component, or the absolute value of the component, perhaps, um, it's, uh, will, be, will be exactly that, that distance. So, um, so good. So then we just have to compute, well, we need to find a point q, and we need to compute a component. So we need any point on the plane. So actually, I'm going to walk back over here. And, and, and to find a point on the, the plane, we, we can just do this by looking at the, at the equation. So, so one way to go about this, for example, is that you pick a, pick a variable that appears in the equation. So x appears in the equation. And now if you, you could just set all the other variables equal to 0. And that'll give you something you can solve for x. So, so in particular, you know, there's a point on this plane with y equals z equals 0. And that point has 2x equals 4. So we can take, for example, q to be the point 2, 0, 0. So this is a point on the plane. Um, 
So this is our point on the plane. And so we have, what we want to do is we want to project, so PQ, the vector from P to PQ, we get by subtracting the coordinates of, of P from those of Q, Q minus P. So this is the vector 2, 0, 0. And we want the component of PQ in the direction n. So the distance in question is the And really, when I say component in this case, I mean the positive component I want, because the distance has to be positive. So if I get a, a negative component, I really want its absolute value here. So the distance is the positive component in the direction n. Um, so what's that equal to? Well, it's just equal to the absolute value. Of, so we know the component of, of pq in the direction n is what we get when we take pq and we dot it with n divided by the length of n. And then I, to make sure it's positive at the end, I want to throw in these absolute value signs. So OK, so this is, and this is now, you know, we have, we have our vector pq and we have our vector n, so it should be straightforward to, to compute this final expression. So we know that n is equal to 2, 1, minus 2. So the length of n, which is in the denominator here, is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared plus minus 2 squared. And in the numerator, we have the absolute value of pq dot n. So pq dot n is going to be 2 times 2 plus 0 times 1 plus 0 times minus 2. OK, and so if we, this is just a fraction bar here. And so if we simplify that a little bit, so up top we just have 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. And on the bottom, we have the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared. That's uh, going to be square root of 9, which is 3. So this is just equal to 4 thirds. So there we go. The distance in question is 4 thirds. The way we got it is we realized that that distance is just the component of any segment any vector connecting our point P to the plane in the direction of the normal. So you choose any, any, any vector P, Q. So you, know, you just have to come up with a, with a point Q on the plane, which you can do by inspection from the equation. So that gives you a vector that gets you from P to some point on the plane. And then you choose the component in the normal direction. And so once you do that, you get, you get this distance, your answer. So I'll end there.